El Casco Antiguo de Benidorm in Benidorm, Spain. Benidorm is a city and municipality in the province of Alicante, Valencian community, on Spain's Mediterranean coast. Distinctive due to its blue-domed church and white houses, El Casco Antiguo de Benidorm is a must-see. The center of this old town is a breathtaking tiled plaza with a view over the sea. Its cobblestone streets are flanked with shops and cafes, whose bohemian storefronts beckon. Over 50 major fiestas take place in this city every year, and many of them host events in this same plaza. Benidorm has been a tourist destination within Spain since 1925, when its port was extended and the first hotels were built. However, the real boom of Benidorm as a coastal resort did not happen until the 1950s, when it became a famous summer destination for people coming from inland Spain, especially Madrid. Today it is known for its hotel industry, beaches and skyscrapers and receives as many or even slightly more foreign tourists as Spanish ones. According to the 2014 census, Benidorm has a permanent population of 69,010 inhabitants, making it the fifth most populous town in the Alicante province. Benidorm is popular with tourists from the UK, Ireland, Germany, Belgium and the Netherlands. Benidorm's initial growth in popularity can be attributed to the package holiday explosion, and continues year-round, due to the nightlife based around the central concentration of bars and clubs. The large number of free cabaret acts that start around 2100 hours and continue into the early hours sets Benidorm apart from other similar cities. The author and Guardian journalist Giles Tremlett identified the city as the birthplace of package tourism in the book Ghosts of Spain, travels through a country's hidden past and remarked that culturally the city contradicted conservative notions of national Catholicism that General Franco had espoused. The accessibility of Benidorm to a wider social strata made the town into an ever so easy target for highbrow sarcasm, as by Yanni Allen in the Sunday Times in 1990. These days you just have to look at the numbers of wide-bodied jets bearing wide-bodied holidaymakers to Benidorm to realize that package holidays and airborne cattle trucks make fun in the sun accessible to everyone. In the 1980s Benidorm developed a reputation for British drunken lager louts and violent binge drinking. This did not happen all year round but mainly in the summer months of July and August. During the 1980s families were put off visiting the city. However today the problem of drunkenness and lager louts has largely gone and Benidorm has mellowed. Now there is a very good police presence in the town which has greatly improved safety and provided for a good atmosphere. Nightlife is very popular and mainly involves cabaret acts and tapas bars. The town is now very popular with families. Also, more and more elderly people from Northern Europe decide to stay there during the winter. This made Benidorm into something of a synonym for elderly people in those countries, as can be seen in the Flemish Candid Camera program Benidorm Bastards. Benidorm has three major beaches, Playa de Levant, Playa de Poniente and Playa de Malpa, all of them have had a blue flag since 1987, the maximum quality standard recognized by the European Union. The Grand Hotel Bali a four-star hotel located in this city since 2002, is a 186-meter-tall building which stood as the tallest skyscraper in Spain for five years, until it was surpassed by the CTBA Towers in Madrid and Intempo Building, also in Benidorm. Events and Attractions Each summer, since 1959 to 2000, the city celebrated the Benidorm International Song Festival, a song contest where international or Spanish celebrities such as Julio Iglesias, Rafael, or the duo Dinamico became famous. Since 2010, in July, Benidorm celebrates an indie music festival, with national and international music groups, called Benidorm Low Festival. In 2011, Benidorm hosted the start of the Vuelta a España, one of cycling's three grand tours. Benidorm boasts three family-oriented theme parks, Terramitica is inland from the city, 
at the foot of the mountain, and Aqualandia and Mundomar are located on the outskirts of the city on the Levant side. There are lots of things to do in Benidorm for all ages. With all the family attractions available, Benidorm has been described as one of the most family-oriented holiday destinations in Spain and Europe. In addition to large shopping and commercial areas, an episode of the hit British sitcom Only Fools and Horses was filmed in Benidorm. The episode was called It Never Rains. A TV series called Benidorm has aired on ITV in the UK. Actors include Jake Canisso, Steve Pemberton, Sheila Reed, and comedian Johnny Vegas. Airing of the 10th series began in February 2018. Like us and join us at Extreme Collections for more fun and knowledge.